Hey, yo, 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 peeps, how are you all getting on? This is your boy, Popsy, from Future Shock Studios. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about this microphone. It's the Full Aim 1000 Pro. It's a wireless microphone system. So with that all being said, let's go and roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about audio gear and reviews each and every Monday. Just before we dive straight into the video, don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout the video. All the audio in this video will be recorded on the Full Aim F1000 Pro. It comes with two transmitters, one's here and one's on me that I'm speaking on, and the receiver is attached to the iPhone. Yes, the iPhone. I'm recording in 24-bit and 48 kilohertz, so you are listening to my raw and unprocessed vocal. Later on, we're gonna be plugging this lavalier mic straight into the transmitter to see what that audio sounds like. So with that all being said, let's go and do the unboxing. So the Full Aim 1000 Pro wireless lavalier microphone system comes in this very well packaged hard white case box. Already, I can see that it's gonna be a, a premium piece of kit. And when you first open the box, the manual comes in a white sleeve, already saying the whole thing is a amazing quality product. So just under the user guide, you're gonna be met with this charging dock, which houses the two transmitters, a single receiver, two lavalier microphones, a lightning cable to use with a iPhone or an iPad. You get a Type-C cable to use with your Android phone and tablet, and you get a 3.5 millimeter jack adapter for your camera or PC usage. You get two furry windscreen muffs. And finally, Full Aim give you this a cloth pouch to put all your cabling in when you wanna take it out on a field recordings. Put them in there and you're good to go. So the time of shooting this video, the whole kit that you've seen in the unboxing retails for around 198 pounds in the UK. And currently you can make a 30 pound saving should you wish to go and buy this microphone today. And in the US, this whole microphone system retails for around the $199. So with that all being said, let's go and check all the features out, starting with the charging dock. So at the top of the box, you get the full aim logo and telling you which model number it is. And on the front of the charging dock, you get these LED lights, just letting you know how much battery life you've got. And there's a small button on the right of the LED indicator. It just shows you how much battery percentage you've got left. And moving on to the left-hand side, that's where you're gonna find the Type-C charging port. And just looking underneath the storage box, it gives you other various information. And on the four corners, it's got these rubber foam non-slip mats. Now just opening the dock up in the center, that's where you're going to find the receiver and on the left and right of the receiver you're going to find the two transmitters you'll also find that the dock has some magnetic clips so once you put the receiver and transmitter in it'll click right into position that's where the receiver and the transmitters connect to charge your device the case comes with an inbuilt battery which gives you two additional charges for the receiver and your transmitters because you'll be able to charge the transmitters and the receiver a further two times giving you a total of 21 hours and there is a bonus here when you put the receiver receiver and the two transmitters in the case, all three will automatically start charging and the devices will shut off automatically to save battery. And with that all being said, let's go and check out the two transmitters in a little bit more detail. On the front of the transmitter, you'll find the Full Aim 1000 logo. And on the center of the top of the microphone, you're gonna see the condenser microphone. It's a built-in gold-plated diaphragm condenser capsule with omnidirectional pickup. And on the left-hand side of that, you're gonna find the mic in port. And the battery indicator is a left, which flashes when it's low, flashes while charging, and stays on after it's fully charged. And the LED next to that is the connection status indicator, which lights on when connecting with the receiver and lights off when disconnected. Now just moving on to the left hand side of the transmitter you're going to find a button on top which acts as the power button and mute button. Press and hold for one second to turn on and off the device. A short press to mute and unmute the microphone. And just below the power button you're going to find the USB-C charging port and just below that is the reset hold to restore factory default settings if needed. And on the rear of the transmitter you'll find a clip to put onto your t-shirt or shirt just like I have here. Let me just show you this in real time. It has this clip on here. And there you go. Okay, so that's the transmitter. Let's go and have a look at the receiver. 
So just looking on the top of the receiver, as you can see, it's a colored IPS display. And on the right of that, you get the power button. Press and hold for one second to turn on and off. Now on the left-hand side of the receiver at the top, you're gonna find the headphone monitoring port. And just below that, you're gonna find your 3.5 millimeter TRS output for audio output to camera. And just below that, you're gonna find a Type-C charging port. And it's also the same port for connecting to a, a mobile phone. And just moving to the right of the receiver, you find two more buttons. The top button will say a dB. That is your volume button to adjust your output volume in increments of one. And just below that, you're going to find the EXF button. And just below that, you're going to find the reset hold button. And that's basically your sound effect button, which provides three optional sound effects. Pressing it once will engage the low cut filter, which displays at the front. Pressing it again will engage the DSP mode. And in that mode, it can eliminate ambient noise for clear sound output. And that's very useful for outdoor recording or in a noisy environment. Pressing the button one more time engages the KTV mode, which is a mode that gives you some echo. We are going to be trying all these modes out, but let me go and show you a bit more detailed view of the LED display at the front. As you can see from the display, all the attributes for transmitter one are displayed on the left-hand side, and all the attributes for transmitter two are displayed on the right-hand side. And just below one and two, you're gonna find the battery level indicator. And just to the right of that, you're gonna find the wireless signal strength indicator. And directly below that, you're gonna find the output volume. And beneath that, you'll find the output volume levels. And in the middle, you'll find the receiver level battery indicator. And on the bottom right-hand corner is where you're gonna find the three output modes. Now you get three input modes modes which are changed by pressing the DB button and the EXF button together. So we're currently speaking in mono mode. Pressing the DB and EXF button again will change it to a stereo output mode. In stereo output mode, the sound from both transmitters will be separated. And pressing the DB and EXF button together again moves you into the MS safe track output mode, where the right channel volume will be six decibels lower than the left channel. So let's go and show you what the volume sounds on the receiver with different levels and some of the sound modes. So currently the output level on the receiver is at its lowest. Let's move it to one now to see what that sounds like. So now you listen to the audio on output level one and this is what the audio sounds like. Now you listen to the audio on output level two and this is what the audio sounds like. Now the output level volume is number three and this is what the audio sounds like. And now I am at its max volume and I'm gonna speak a bit lower because I think that it may be peaking and I can see that it is peaking. I'm gonna press it once more time. I'm back on the normal volume which is preferred in the surroundings of this studio. So I've now engaged the low cut filter. It's also displaying on the receiver and this is what the audio sounds like. So this is an audio test with the low cut filter engaged. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've now engaged the DSP mode. You are listening to the audio in that. Let's do a quick count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You are currently listening to the audio in DSP mode, which eliminates any unwanted ambience noise. And this is what the audio sounds like. So anyway, this is the echo mode. I don't know what it sounds like. I will be doing some checking in a little while. So ho, 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 I will catch you soon. Let's move back into the normal mode. And this is what the audio sounds in my normal mode. Now you're listening to the audio on both receivers. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Check one, two, one, two. Let me go and switch the audio to stereo mode and see what that sounds like. Okay, so we are now in stereo mode. To engage any of the sound modes, you need to press the DB button and the EX button together for approximately around two seconds. Let it go and it changes. I am now speaking on transmitter one. Let's move this one away and bring this one in. Now I'm speaking on transmitter two. So this is now transmitter two this is transmitter one transmitter two transmitter one transmitter two okay people we're going to move over to the last and final mode the ms mode we're in ms mode now what that basically means the right channel output is going to be six decibels lower than the one on the left so let's check these out so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i'm speaking on both the transmitters on my side now and this is what this audio sounds like before I take you to the outdoor testing, I'm going to put this lapel mic on to this receiver. Let me first attach this onto my shirt. 
So there it is. I don't know if you can see it clearly because I'm wearing black on black. And there's the receiver that I'm speaking on. And I'm going to attach the 3.5 millimeter into the microphone socket on the top here. Fair bit of distance to it, as you can see. All the audio from now onward in this video will be on the provided lavalier mic. Okay, that's enough of me talking in the studio. Let's go and take this mic out in the field and show you some testing. The first test is going to include the distance check. Hey, yo, 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 people. Okay, we're going to be doing a distance check on the Full Aim F1000 Pro. There's my car just down there, and I'm going to do a reverse. So the windscreen is now going to be in between me and the camera, and we're going to see what this sounds like. Okay, people, so we're in the car now, and my good friend Prem, as always, is going to let me know how it's looking and start reversing back and see uh, what this sounds like. We are going back, 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 back now. We're slowly moving back. I'm being careful as it's a, a single track road and uh, I'm going to try to go as back as far as I can. Hopefully there's no vehicle that's going to come because this is a public road near a farm. It's a beautiful lo location and plus it's quite breezy out there but I am going to get out of the car just to kind of show you what it sounds like and I think I'm hitting around the good 50 meter mark now. I'm going to stop it here and just come out of the car now and yes he can see me. It is a bit breezy. I'm going to go back in the car and see what that sounds like. Let's just continue reversing back then carry on going back and I will get out of the car when I hit 100 meters don't forget there is a windscreen in front a thumbs up from my colleague my good friend Prem who's saying to me that that is at least a good 100 meters away now I'm getting the thumb up from Prem who's telling me that he can clearly hear me so uh, we're gonna go a little bit more back and just see what that sounds like beautiful day the sun has just started coming out a little bit to be honest I've been doing some really good thorough checks before we've making these videos and I think we're about 150 meters away and I'm gonna get out of the car now and just walk behind the car just to see what that is you probably hear the bit of a breeze coming out I'm right behind the car now and uh, so yeah that is a quite a distance and uh, if the camera picking me up I'll be very 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 astonished I'm gonna try to put it push it a little little bit more I think no I think we're about 200 meters away now and this is what the audio sounds like I'm gonna put my hazards on I'm gonna start making my way forward so I'm making my way back I'm making my way back what I do want to remind you guys is that we are in a vehicle and there is a windscreen in front it's a, it's a decent weather but however there is some wind out there but I'm not sure how it's getting picked up I would say 10 meters away now and okay peeps so that's the end of the distance check as you can see that we went pretty much far back and even if I try to speak to my friend Prem who was next to the camera I, and the full I, I, I'm pretty sure I am pretty much sure that the audio is going to be very good let's move on to the next test okay I hope you enjoyed the test and the location let's go and do test two the stereo check Check one two. One two, one two. One two, cool. one two. So now we're doing a stereo check on the full aim F1000 Pro. This is a check test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, okay. people, as you can see, we're back in the car and there is a windscreen in front of us and we are now in stereo mode on this wireless microphone system. I'm obviously going to come through a different channel and Prem on my left is going to come through a different channel. So I'll do the first counting. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's a bit weird, Prem. Actually, guys, what we came to do was, was film a windmill and do this stereo check near a windmill. But for whatever reason, that didn't happen. A bit disappointing. Yeah, just a bit. It's a shame. Beautiful location. Uh, you're missing out on something there. Okay, we're just going to stand outside the car now just to see what that sounds like as well. Prem, what do you think? It's not actually that windy as usual, no, is it? No, it's not. No, not now anyway. It's no, calmed no. down a bit. Okay, so that's the end of this test. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me go and show you the third test. The third test is going to be in MS mode with the lavaliers. So one of the microphones is going to be minus 6 dB lower than the other one. And I hope you enjoy the location too. Okay, peeps, we're recording on the lavalier mics now. I've got mines here. Prem, you got yours there? Just there. Okay, can you just tap it on the top? So that's Prem tapping. That's me tapping. And as you can see, we finally got to uh, show you the windmill. It's a lovely location, and this is what it sounds like. And uh, I'm going to move as far as I can back. Prem, do you want to take a walk down there? Yeah, could do, yep. How does that look to you? Is that the windmill or me? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Beautiful. It is a lovely location, isn't it? Do you want to walk all the way around it once? Can do. And uh, so it stays here. This this mill was restored by the Bedfordshire County Council as part of their contribution towards the Festival of Britain, AD 1951. Okay, peeps, there you go. This was built in 1951. And Prem's going to take a, a walk around there. At the moment, he's in line of sight, but there he is go. going in line of sight. He's going to walk all the way around and just continue talking if you can, Prem. Absolutely lovely. Yeah. And here we go. Okay. Yeah, so the mic did cut out, but mind you, it is a stone windmill. And now Prem's walking back, oh, and uh, yeah. I'm glad we, we came here, mate. It's a really lovely location. First time being here, it's lovely. Thank it you. is, isn't it? Yep. Anyway, peeps, that's the end of all the tests now. We're going to see you back in the studio, and thank you for keeping up with me so far. If you have, let's go and finish this video off back in the studio. Okay, now that you've seen the transmitter, the receiver, the charging dock, and all those field tests, let me go and give you some of my final thoughts. So one of the most important things to me when you buy in systems like this isn't all the accessories you get, even though that's a bonus, it's what the sound quality is like. And I can quite honestly tell you, I am so impressed with the sound quality coming out of the Full Aim 1000 Pro. Now, some of the key features that I like about this system is obviously the sound quality, which I've already mentioned. The fact that it's got a 200 meter transmission range is beyond any other wireless microphone system that I've been able to test in all fairness. We got around the 200 and about 10 meters and not forgetting that the distance check was done by me sitting in the car with a windscreen in front not only have you got the distance between the receiver and the transmitter you also have this thick windscreen in front of us as well as you can hear from the tone of my voice i'm highly impressed with the range of 200 meters with this little wireless microphone system the amount of accessories that full aim gave with this wireless microphone system you get the two transmitters you get two wind muffs you get two lavalier mics basically Basically two of everything that you need to run this and I have to say this and the ease of use for this system is so easy it's just it's, it's simply a plug-and-play system it took me approximately I would say about an hour to get used to all the functions so I didn't have to read the manual because if everything is simply displayed on here I didn't really have to worry about cutouts I didn't have to worry about signal strength how much battery I got left whether there's any audio coming through or not because the display tells you everything and this system the display on it just makes it very very easy to use i ain't got no complaints about the system i've got this much faith in this system that i've not even had to bother wearing my headphones so realistically apart from checking the audio at the start of the video on my headphones i really not needed to do that whatsoever which has been a bit of a relief to my ears on this review and i do know that i'm in the ktv effect mode let's take that off Okay, so anyway, so a few months back, I done a test on a microphone where it had this echo effect inbuilt into it, but it didn't have it on the display. Halfway through, it got engaged. I didn't realize it because it had no headphone monitoring, so I didn't know that I was listening to it in headphone monitoring. The problem was I had to go and reshoot that whole video. Half the video was actually in this echo mode, which you guys would have got right pissed off listening to a echo mode throughout the video. I am recording this on an iPhone simply because not everybody has a Sony or a Canon camera. Most of us carry an Android phone or some of us carry an iPhone. So your mobile device is probably the best camera you're ever going to have because it's always stuck in your pocket. This is one of the reasons I always record my audio on an iPhone. It's simply because we all got one of these in our pockets. It's not just a portable and compact wireless microphone system. It's a great sounding system. I'm going to give the Full Aim 1000 Pro a full 10 out of 10. If you're interested, I'm going to leave the links in the description below. Go and check that out and go and check all the other mics out I've reviewed. So please. Please do drop me a comment. Let me know if you found this video interesting, useful, or just a complete waste of time. So anyway, peeps, that's all you're going to get from me for today. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or smash it if that's something you're into. Subscribe if you aren't already and I shall see you in the next video.